This was a video I intended to do end of last year, but life being what it was, this project was delayed. And so here is a day in my life working full time from home as a sales manager for an electric city bus manufacturer. My day always starts early with a yoga class, nothing better to warm the body up in the morning. After 30 to 60 minutes of yoga, I go back to our bedroom, where I make our bed and then change my clothes. I then start dressing up the table and making breakfast. At that time, Tina joins me and continues preparing breakfast while I start making coffee. Depending on my mood, I make different type of coffee. That day, our breakfast was made of fruits that we ate with bread and homemade almond butter. Once breakfast finished, we clean the dishes and talk for a while. We then finish our coffee in front of a YouTube video. After that, I head to my office, and yes, I'm lucky enough to have my own office in our apartment. Before getting to my sales manager work, I often start by working a bit on the travel blog and our video. I prefer to work on it in the morning, as I have more imagination and motivation. I must admit that after spending the whole day working, I have enough of the computer. I then switched my computer and start my full-time job as a sales manager for an electric city bus manufacturer. I oversee North of France and the Benelux, and my job mostly includes office hours, customer visits, and exhibition participations. My customer being public companies, most of my work goes through public tendering, and therefore answering them makes me spend lots of time in front of a computer building up our tender answer. French public companies are really demanding, and it takes lots of time to analyze their tender book, write a technical offer, define the price, and our complete strategy. The last few years, I must admit that there were many tenders, making my focus on answering them. At noon, it is time for a break. Tina always cooks us some yummy lunch, while I dress up the table. Oh, <laughs> He's not a chubby boy. He's uh, a short and a bit overweight. <laughs> He's not overweight. It's no. even worse than chubby. All right. What then? He's a chubby boy. Okay, well, he's not really overweight. He averages two point two. Is he kicking? Once our tummy full, I then clean the table, put in the dishwasher what can be put in it, and clean the rest. I then make myself a decaf coffee, and Tina either have a tea or just water. At that time, we had such an amazing weather that we were enjoying our terrace.
and if the weather was bad, we were watching a video or a series. Then I go back to work, where I continue with email, Teams meetings and tender answers. When I started working from home, I was always wearing regular office clothes to kinda make a difference between work time and pleasure time. But with the years, I stopped doing that, as I'd rather be more comfortable. And I am perfectly able to manage my time and meet all my deadlines. Also, something I'm trying to do is being more efficient, and working from home really helped. I don't lose time chatting with my colleagues or having a coffee break with them, or even being distracted by my surrounding. And I can now work in a better way and a much more efficient way. At the end of the working day, I put the computer away. And during the afternoon, if I need a break, otherwise at the end of the day, we always go for a walk. With so many hours spent sitting, walking once a day is mandatory. And there is nothing better than going out and being in nature to reset your mind. I actually even get lots of ideas for work by walking. And not to forget them, I send myself emails. We are walking, walking, walking. As it was summer, it was also needed to water our plants and tree at the end of the day. Then it is time for a quick shower and then dinner. To finish the day, we watch a little movie together and then head to bed. Of course, sometimes Tina also prefers to read book, so I watch alone. Another part of my job, which happens once or twice a year, is to go to bus exhibition. Most of the time we have a stand and are showing one of our vehicles. If we don't, I then go as a visitor to see a few customers. Another part of my job is to visit customers to promote our company and work on projects. When it comes to transportation, I mostly try to use the train, as it's the best for environment. But when I need to go on the other side of France, sometimes I have no option than to fly. And for some smaller cities that are closer, driving there is also a good option, especially that often meetings take place in bus depots that are not in the city center. <laughs> 